Kerrigan and his team's successes had also been noticed after their win at DreamHack Open Tour 2019. With the tweet leaving room for an answer from Mouse Sports, they promptly won the CSGO Asia Championships and beat Astralis on their home soil in the semi-final of the ESL Pro League Season 10. Mate, one guy mid, chill, don't block it. Five. Five. Always hit. Step mid, mid. Flashing, that's how they. Just come, boys, 30 seconds. I'm flashing one CT, let's cross. Yeah! And if that wasn't enough, Kerrigan and his teammates later crushed Fnatic in the grand final and lifted the trophy. Defeating number two, number one, and number four in the world in three days is insane, it's incredible. And today, my son, he was on fire. After those performances, Mouse Sports reached the number two spot in the world ranking, and Kerrigan could enjoy his revenge and a glass of wine. The Odin's finals proved that Kerrigan's idea of building a team with both young and talented, as well as experienced but underperforming players, had paid off. For the first time, I feel like I finally started to implement a structured kind of play, but also have this individual play where I know the people can go off. And there's something I tried in face and didn't work out, and I feel like in mouse, I finally found a middle ground where I can switch the play style up depending on the enemy's replay. And, and that's really good. There's something I tried to achieve for many years. As we enter 2020, Mouse Sports were no longer underdogs. However, the team fell short of expectations during IEM Katowice 2020 as they failed to reach the quarterfinals. But soon after that, Kerrigan and his teammates were able to catch their wave and surf straight into the grand final of the ESL Pro League Season 11. Frozen, he can save Mousebot. He just has to stop the defuse. That's his mission. That's his objective. And a one versus three, a Molotov's the cherry on top. Glaive goes down. Losing it to Fnatic despite Chris J being at his peak. He's on a, just a mission to find the first for his squad, a smoke and a full defeat. It's not like this. Catches him in the smoke. He's done it. Chris J finally does have the impact we talk about. With all those results in the span of just one year, it's obvious that there's something about the Kerrigan effect. So what's the secret to their success? <laughs> Except for the fact that Kerrigan is one of the best in-game leaders in the world. This chemistry outside of the game is really important. When it comes to that, you really have to understand the players uh, where they're from, uh, how they grew up, what kind of like mindset are they really in, right? Because you have to be aware that maybe uh, the way you joke in Denmark is really um, self-ironic, which could be some other uh, people would see why you're saying something like this about yourself, you know? But that that's normal thing in Denmark, and, and in that way you have to really make sure you balance that in, in, in a team environment, and especially when it comes to having the good chemistry because that's all. <laughs> the second a team performs bad and the chemistry is bad, the, the team is lost. With a mixture of all those factors and having a leader like Finn Kerrigan Anderson, one thing's for certain. At this stage, Mouse Sports should be considered one of the biggest favorites for the upcoming events. We are at a point right now where we like the pressure and we like to go in as a favorite and we like to go in and show everyone that we are the best team in the world. Uh, and we are going to show people that we are the best team in the world.